Well, uh, you've been telling us that, you know, the bats would get going and patience and, and it happened. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I think we'll start firing all cylinders at some point. I don't know if the bats per se were going tonight, but they're going at the right time and just enough at the right time. Yeah. You know, and good ABs in the end, good, good ABs throughout. Um, you know, played played pretty good defense for the most part tonight. I know we had a, a couple of errors there, but just uh, young players. You know, you have young players early in the season. It just it's going to take time. You saw it last year with five yeah. guys in this team that are on the forty man. You know, five guys on our team last year on the forty man, and we were making some similar mistakes last year in the first month of the season. So that's our responsibility as staff to get these guys prepared and get these guys, you know, trending in the right direction every single day. And, you know, hopefully you're, you're, you're going to start to see that. Over time, you know, plenty of work to do, obviously, but really impressed with the, the pitchers tonight. Um, you know, I, I thought those guys did a really good job of you know, limiting any type of, you know, any type of uh, threat that they had going on. They were able to, to trump that and uh, execute the pitch when they needed to. They had a lot of work from the bullpen early on, um, like most teams throughout all of baseball. Um, how how is how is that? How's yeah. the bullpen been for you? Yeah, it's it's you know it's hard for for some of these guys right that, that aren't used to throwing out of the pen. You have some young players that you know it's one of their first year in you know, full season professional baseball for some of them, and you know a lot of those guys were were starters in, in college, and now they're having to learn how to get hot quick. You got a guy like Mason Hickman, for example, who excuse me was only a starter last year, and you know came in out of the pen tonight and in those middle innings, and that's tough for a guy to. To start to adjust his routine with the frequency that these guys are doing on a regular basis. So, you know, I tip my cap to the way in which they compete, the way in which they they compete when their numbers called. And you know, a lot of those guys are itching to toe the rubber. You know, it's it's tough when you you get a game rained out and you have a couple of seven inning double headers coming up. Um, you know, you're losing four innings there, right? You're losing four innings of pitching, and um, when our pitchers have you know leading the league in ERA right now, there's not a lot of not a lot of guys coming out of the game early as a result of their ineffectiveness. You know, if there's anything that's coming out of the, the game, it's just because they reached their pitch counts. Um, so those innings are tough to come by, and everyone's told the rubbers doesn't really get out there. How big, how big of a win is this? Is it kind of coming off of a little bit of a slide to get a win like this? Is it, is it a boost in the clubhouse to you know moving forward for a lot of these guys? You know, it's it, winning's winning's important. You know, wings important. Development's important. We, you know, you guys have heard me. You guys have been here long enough. Heard me say from two to six o'clock, or one from one to five. You know, that's really where where I make my money as a coach. I'm a you know air traffic control guy down on the third base box. Right now. I'm just I'm a parking attendant down there. I'm moving guys around, waving them in or stopping them. You know, I I make my money. Um, you know, between one and five, and these guys make their money when the lights click on here at six thirty or seven o'clock at night. Winning friggin' matters. It has to matter. Uh, and you can't just turn that on a progressive 17 miles down the road. And we talked about that again tonight as a ball club in the clubhouse before the game. I don't have a lot of pregame talks, but I thought it was time for us to talk about, you know, how important it is. You have to hate losing more than you like winning. Win is great. This is great. You have to, as great as that is, you have to hate losing more than that. And, you know, we, we talked a little bit about that, what it takes to to compete on a regular basis and how to buck your chin strap when you get knocked down a little bit. You lose a couple games in a row, so freaking what, you got to be able to get back up off the mat and punch back, and that's something we talked about today.